Oscar Wilde, The Picture of Dorian Gray. Dive into the world of Oscar Wilde's The Picture of Dorian Gray and uncover the themes of beauty, youth, morality, pleasure, and the consequences of hedonistic lifestyle. Follow the story of the enchanting Dorian Gray as he grapples with the price of his desires and discovers the captivating power of influence in his life. Experience a complex narrative entwining art, friendship, and deception, as both readers and characters alike question the longevity of youth and the inevitability of decay. Ultimately, the summary of The Picture of Dorian Gray offers an insightful view into the human psyche, societal norms, and the consequences of chasing after eternal youth. The Mysterious Dorian Gray In a luxurious studio, artist Basil Hallward reveals his latest masterpiece featuring the stunningly beautiful Dorian Gray, who he met at a reception. The smug Lord Henry Wotton, lounging on a divan, urges Basil to introduce him to Dorian, whom he believes represents a new era in art. Basil hesitates, not wanting Dorian's innocence to be tainted by Lord Wotton's corruption. But before he can stop it, Dorian shows up at the studio, and the three become entangled in a web of intrigue as Basil's portrait takes on a life of its own. The Temptation of Youth Dorian Gray seeks new experiences and is introduced to the philosophy of hedonism by Lord Wotton. He becomes enamored with the idea of indulging in every desire and cherishing the passions of his youth. Meanwhile, Basil finishes Dorian's portrait, and Lord Wotton expresses interest in gaining power over Dorian. The portrait becomes a symbol of Dorian's youthful beauty and his desire to remain young forever. Lord Wotton's Influence while Lord Wotton gathers more information about Dorian's ancestry, he uses his lunch with Dorian to shape the young man's character and mold him in his image through his philosophy of pleasure and hedonism. Lord Wotton's quest to learn more about Dorian Gray's past continues as he visits his uncle, Lord Fermor, renowned in the clubbing circle for his social connections. Here he discovers that Dorian's mother, Margaret Devereux, had a scandalous affair with a penniless fellow, causing Lord Fermor to hire a scoundrel to duel and murder Dorian's father. Despite the tragedy, Margaret's beauty still mesmerizes Lord Fermor's memory of her. Meanwhile, Lord Wotton uses his influence to shape Dorian's character in his image. Over lunch with Dorian and Lady Agatha, a renowned philanthropist, Lord Wotton espouses his philosophy of hedonism and pleasure. Dorian, enamored with Lord Wotton's every word, eagerly takes on Lord Wotton's views as his own. The passage shows Lord Wotton's cunning ability to use his influence to shape Dorian's character for his own ends while still gathering more information about the young man's past. Dorian's Love and Lord Wotton's Plan Dorian falls in love with Sybil Vane, an actress, and gets engaged to her. Lord Wotton, excited about the unfolding human experiment, plans to exploit the situation. Sybil's brother, Jim, is skeptical of Dorian and vows to kill him if he harms his sister. Dorian's Downward Spiral Dorian Gray's relationships take a destructive turn as he lets Lord Wotton's influence cloud his judgment. Despite his friend Basil's disapproval, Dorian plans to marry Sybil Vane, an actress whom he meets at a theater. During the play, Sybil's acting earns her insults from the audience, pushing Dorian to lash out at her in her dressing room and cut ties with her entirely. This is a turning point for Dorian, as his perception of love and beauty starts to become warped. Lord Wotton's misogynistic speech further corrupts Dorian's perspective on relationships, and Basil worries about his friend slipping away from him. As the story progresses, Dorian's moral decay becomes more profound, leading to dire consequences. This snippet showcases how Dorian's initial infatuation with Sybil Vane sets the stage for his descent into darkness and foreshadows the complicated relationships that he will form in the future. The Picture of Dorian Gray Dorian Gray, a young and handsome man, wishes for his portrait to bear the burden of his sins while he remains youthful. However, as he indulges in hedonistic pleasures, the portrait begins to reveal his true nature, becoming cruel and twisted. Dorian's life spirals out of control as he tries to hide the portrait's true form and the consequences of his actions. 
Even after the suicide of his lover, he finds pleasure in the portrait's reminder of his misdeeds. The picture of Dorian Gray is a cautionary tale of the cost of vanity and the corrupting influence of sin. Dorian's Dark Obsession Dorian's progressively disturbing behavior rattles his friend Basil, leading to an unnerving discovery about his portrait. Basil visits Dorian to express his condolences regarding Sybil's suicide. Despite his friend's disconcerting behavior, Dorian refuses to be remorseful. Instead, he expresses his desire to exhibit his portrait in Paris while denying Basil access to it. Dorian's uncontrollable obsession with his portrait prompts him to hide it from everyone, including his trusted servant, Victor. Basil's growing concern about Dorian leads him to an unsettling revelation about his friend's true nature. Dorian Gray's Descent into Hedonism and Debauchery Dorian Gray, under the influence of Lord Watton's new kind of hedonism, indulges in various sensual experiences without any regard for morals or consequences. Despite the rumors of debauchery that circulate about him, high society still sees him as a perfectly cultivated gentleman. However, a day before his 38th birthday, Dorian shows Basil the portrait that depicts his soul, which has been corrupted by sin and turned into a hideous, devilish face. In a fit of rage, Dorian kills Basil with a knife. Dorian's Dark Deeds Dorian blackmails his friend to dispose of a corpse before burning all evidence of his crime. Seeking solace in an opium den, he is confronted by victims of his past but manages to escape. However, he is almost caught by the brother of his former lover, who believes Dorian drove her to suicide. Despite almost being exposed by a prostitute's claim, Dorian manages to elude his pursuer and evade justice once more. The chapter showcases Dorian's continued descent into immorality and his growing paranoia as more people become aware of his sins. The Tragic End of Dorian Gray Dorian Gray is haunted by his guilty conscience. After a shooting accident, he feels relieved to find out that the victim, Jim Vane, is not his past catching up with him. However, Dorian becomes increasingly aware of the burden of his sins and fears that he can never change. He contemplates destroying the portrait of himself that now reveals his gruesome appearance. When he finally stabs the picture, he finds himself murdered, and the portrait miraculously restored to its original state. In conclusion, the summary of The Picture of Dorian Gray presents an engaging tale of beauty, temptation, and the repercussions of indulging in a sinful life. Through his encounters with Lord Watton, Dorian grapples with the inescapable decay of his own youth, and strives to manipulate the consequences of his hedonistic pursuits. Exploring themes such as the importance of youth and the corrupting influence of one's peers, Oscar Wilde's work leaves readers with a thought-provoking analysis of morality, the quest for eternal youth, and the power of influence in a superficially driven society. In the end, Dorian Gray must face the dire consequences of his choices, masterfully illustrating the age-old message that beauty is fleeting and actions have unforeseen repercussions.